How to tame a Bastardosaurus in under a minute. When I'm in the ocean taming, I tend to use Sarkos a lot. They're easy to get, they're quick and they're strong. However, a wild Bastardosaurus will normally have Mantis following them and they'll become aggressive when you get close. And a lot of Mantis together could do a lot of damage real quick. For this reason, unless you want to pick the Mantis off one by one, it's recommended to bring a Baryonyx with you, as the Baryonyx secondary attack will spin and stun Dinos. Because of this, you can get in the middle of the Mantis, stun them, and then you can easily kill them. Once you've killed off all the Mantis and the area is clear, you need to passively tame the Basilosaurus. You need to feed him from the last slot of your hotbar. If you have it available, use Exceptional Kibble. If not, you can use Mutton or Raw Prime Meat. Just bear in mind, the worse you use, the longer it will take. Remember, the ocean is a very dangerous place and the Basilosaurus is going to keep moving around, so you need to be on your guard all the time. Your Basilosaurus is tamed. These guys are pretty cool dinos. They'll passively collect oil for you, although only in a stack of 20. Strangely, they can't travel too deep into the ocean. Once you hit a certain depth, they'll start to take damage. They're decent at running loot caves, as they're pretty small, they're strong, and they can't be dismounted by jellyfish. However, do not tame one, and then just take him straight in there and get yourself all confident thinking you're the boy, like someone did. If you're taming one of these guys just to run loot caves, you need to be very careful if it's your first time. You can very easily get overrun. Make sure you try and get yourself a high level Basilosaurus, and just take your time moving around the caves. Slightly off topic, but furthermore, do not bring your best Mosul with you to guard the entrance for you and ready to fall back on in case you need him, because he ain't going to do nothing, he's just going to sit there and take them hits and die. This has been How to Tame a Basilosaurus in Under a Minute. Never again. See you in the next one.